<clears throat> All right, some phrases in the English language, they make like no sense, right? So to prevent you from sounding like an idiot in front of your friends or your peers, I'm going to tell you some of the ones that you should avoid. Pot calling the kettle black. Now listen, people don't really use this on a daily basis, right? But it is very commonly used. The phrase basically means, oh, you're a bit of a hypocrite. But here's the thing, right? Pots aren't black, and neither are kettles. Like, look, look at these, right? Do these look black to you? Like, even a little? No, they don't. They're not even remotely black, man. Right, so what should the phrase be? Charlie Murphy calling Wesley Snipes black. That's what the phrase should be. Something like that. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. But what if you can do the time? Uh... Well, you still shouldn't do the crime. So what was the point of even mentioning whether or not I can do the time? Especially since it doesn't make any difference at all. So what should the phrase be? Irregardless of whether you can do the time or not, don't do the crime. Right? You've made your bed, now lie in it. Right, this is stupid, yeah? It's basically saying, you caused this situation, now deal with it. But the comparison with the bed is not the same thing, right? No one makes a bed with the intention of never lying in it again, right? So you don't need to say the now lie in it part, right? Stupid. Unnecessary. It's redundant, right? It's like saying, you've made your sandwich, now eat it. Well, of course I was going to eat the fucking sandwich. Why do you think I made it in the first place? I'm not a chef. As if I'm ever going to be like, yo, fuck this bed, man. I'm throwing this bed out. It's broken. I'm never going to lie on this thing again. And then go on to make my bed. The only reason that I would ever make my bed is specifically because I intend to lie in it. What the phrase should be is, look at this shit situation you've caused, you idiot. Now go sort it out. Like having your cake and eating it too. Now listen, I'm not going to lie, right? I don't know what this means. Don't have a fucking clue. I genuinely still do not know what this means, right? Like, what's the point in having cake if you're not going to eat it? Cake is made to be had, man. That is cake's sole purpose. As if there's such a thing as having cake and not eating it. If there is, right, I need to start a rent a cake business. Where all you do is people rent a cake just to look at it or something. I don't know. And if people eat it, I'll be like, Oi! Oi, mate! You ate some of the cake, what the hell? You can't have your cake and eat it too. Have you not heard the phrase, mate? You won't be getting your deposit back. What it should be... Like, if I'm honest, I don't know. Cause I, I don't even know what it means, so I can't say, can I? <laughs> Live every day as if it were your last. This is horrible advice. I can think of a few people that I would probably kill if I knew today was my last day and that I would be dying tomorrow. And so do you. And not only that, right? There are a few people out there who, without doubt, will have you on that list. So this is not advice that you want to be giving out, right? Some people might decide that gambling their life savings away would be a good way to spend their last day. It's not like I'm going to be around tomorrow to live the consequences, so fuck it. And it's my last day. I might as well go and tell my boss to go fuck himself and that he should suck it. So don't do this and stop saying it. What the phrase should be, right? You're most probably not going to die tomorrow, so don't behave as though you will. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Unless it's muscular dystrophy, then you definitely won't get stronger. You will get much, much weaker. Now listen, I'm not an idiot, right? I know what it means. It means mentally stronger, right? But again, no. Back when I was like 13 years old, right, I watched The Blair Witch Project, which is not even that scary a horror movie anyways, right? And that fucked me up. For years, if I was going upstairs to bed at night and it was dark, I could not switch the light off and go upstairs. I had to go upstairs, put the light on, come back downstairs, put the light off and then go back upstairs. That fucked me up as a kid. Didn't make me stronger at all. What the phrase should be is, what doesn't kill you may or may not make you stronger. Results may vary. What you don't hear can't hurt you. Stealth ninjas. You won't hear them. They'll kill you. Okay, let me paint you a picture, right? Imagine this. 
Oh no, mate! Your cat died, did it? Oh no! No, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, have this! Just to let you know how much I care. You be like, what is this, mate? To say you don't give a rat's ass doesn't make sense because when do you give a rat's ass? When you care about something, do you give a rat's ass? No, man! And do you know what? Forget rat's ass. I just, I don't get the whole giving thing, man. Like, I don't give a rat's ass, I don't give a shit, I don't give a fuck. Like, what? That makes no sense, man. And why your rat's ass? If you wanna give me an ass to show you care, right? Give me JLo's ass. So instead of I don't give a rat's ass, what it should be is I don't care. Simple. Alright, now listen, it's not a phrase, right? But the word extraordinary is stupid. If you go to a restaurant and order something that's extra spicy, that just means that it's very spicy, right? So using the same logic, one would imagine that something extraordinary was just very ordinary, right? No! That's not what it means at all! It means the exact opposite! The word makes no sense! Now, who made up this word? Idiot! You're an extra idiot! What the word should be is totally unordinary! You made it through the course! Fantastic! So if you've paid attention, to avoid coming across as an idiot to your friends and your peers, right? All you have to do is make sure you avoid saying these phrases! Or don't. Fuck it! Do whatever you want. I don't give a rat's ass.